In this video, I'll demonstrate how to properly fill an air syringe from a bulk container and then how to connect it to a syringe adapter. It is crucial to fill your syringe correctly so no air bubbles get trapped in the material. Air bubbles can cause a lack of control over the flow of material and creates inconsistent dispensing results. Place a lure lock tip cap on the dispensing end to prevent material leakage when filling the syringe. For this demonstration, I'll be filling the material from the wide opening of the syringe. Take your bulk material and carefully load it. Try to aim towards the center of the barrel in order to keep the material from hitting the side walls. You may want to try a small funnel if you believe that this will make loading easier. Once you have filled the syringe to about three-quarter capacity, stop filling. This will allow enough space between the stopper and the adapter head when connecting the two pieces. For a closer look at the space needed, here's an example of a properly loaded syringe that is connected to a syringe adapter. Tap the syringe to further ensure that there is no air trapped inside. And once you're satisfied that there is no air in the syringe barrel or the material, insert the venting ribbon and stopper. Now we suggest using a coated venting ribbon to prevent possible damage to the barrel or stopper. Now as you can see, this ribbon allows for a small gap between the barrel and stopper. Now using your finger, push the stopper down until the material and stopper mate with no air in between them. Then, simply pull out the venting ribbon and you now have a properly loaded syringe. Next, apply your end cap to the syringe for storage, which prevents curing of the material. I'll now demonstrate how to connect the syringe adapter so that the air barrel can be connected to a dispensing unit. This is the Jensen Global XP series adapter. To connect to the barrel, slide the flange of the barrel into the adapter head and twist to lock. Once the adapter and the loaded syringe are locked together, it can be connected to a dispensing unit. You're now ready to start dispensing.